instead of chit-chatting about oh, a whole bunch of different facts, we're going to talk about things that maybe help them make decisions. So let's grab a grocery cart. We're, we're going grocery shopping. So we go down the aisle. The first thing on the left is a box of cornflakes. Well, do we have to stop and say, oh, cornflakes? <sighs> let me take out the box. Uh, let, let me look at the nutritional labeling. I wonder if they have a video. I wonder who the company founder is. I wonder, that's not how we make a decision about cornflakes. When we're walking down the aisle, we're going to look at that and say, no, and go on to the next item. Now, if we had to stop and do that for every item in the aisle, we would probably starve before we got to the end of the aisle, and that wouldn't be good. So how the human brain works is we've already made up our mind. We've already made our final decision. We've already sorted it all out. We've made decisions about everything. And so when we go down that grocery store aisle, it's like this. No, 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 no. Chop it. Oh, okay, I'll throw that in. No, 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 no. Uh, this, yeah, we pick and choose. We've already made up our minds about every item in there, just like we've made up our mind about which political candidate to vote for, or made up our mind how we feel about chocolate, or made up our mind about how we feel about a certain country. We've already made up our minds about most things. And what's nice about this is most people have already made up their minds that they want to live longer, live better, live healthier, live more naturally, have more money in their lives. In other words, when you and I talk to people, they have already made up their minds that they want to do business with us. And that is excellent. So we're starting from a pretty good place where people have already made preconceived decisions that they want to do business with us. So how do we handle this? How do we open our presentations? What words can we say to take advantage of this so we stop talking people out of it? 